Today turned out to be a truly incredible and very entertaining day. That is, that, if you don't know, somehow, if you don't know, Spyro got announced. And finally, we got to saw the first gameplay of Spyro 1. And I was blown away. Let's just get to the point straight away. It looks absolutely incredible. It looks out of this world. It's better than I could have ever have imagined. But that brings us to the question of the video. Is it better looking than Crash Remastered? Yes or no? Well, that pretty much depends on your own opinion really, but I will try to explain my opinion now. During this video I'm going to show a series of pictures and screenshots from Crash Bandicoot Remastered and Spyro Remastered just to look at the difference. And um, these are not great pictures but they can you can see the difference quite a lot. In my opinion, Spyro Remastered looks probably I'd say 10 to 15 times better than Crash does. Now, once again, that is just my opinion. Now I just want to explain why I think that. I thought that always there was no chance that Crash would look better than Spyro. And that's because Spyro has better opportunities. What I mean is Spyro is much more open world. Because the games come out a couple of years after, or during the same year at least, of Crash. They had much better chance and they look actually better themselves back in the day as well sort of gameplay and technology was changing a little bit during them years of 1999 2000 so that's why the Spyro games were much bigger with their 3D worlds and their gameplay physics so I always thought that Spyro was going to keep continuing that theme because their worlds broadly had a head start by looking better at least in my opinion in the original PlayStation 1 games I thought they would continue doing that and be better than Crash in terms of graphics which they did succeed in but having said that, they didn't just succeed in looking better than Crash and improving from the original Spyro. They've done so much more. Some of these pictures are incredible. Some of the gameplay that we got to saw in that first announcement trailer was truly breathtaking. It is, some of the areas, they're so filled with detail that you can easily recognise the area, but it's so shocking how much detail and pretty much attention to detail they've put into it. It truly looks incredible that's the best way I could describe it better looking I, I could have ever imagined or ever hoped for and here's more than that really I can't wait to see the other games I can't wait to see some of my favorite levels Spyro 1 technically is my favorite game because it's the one I played the most of as a child it's the one I'm familiar with the most it's got my favorite levels in it for all pretty much Dreamweavers that whole world is my favorite world we've ever seen in Spyro can't wait to play that we got the saw a bit of Lofty Castle that looks incredible, but I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to see what kind of atmosphere that they're going to give to Dark Passage, which is my all-time favourite Spyro level. So coming back to the question, yes, I feel like Spyro Ignited Trilogy looks so much better than Crash Insane Trilogy. Not having a go at Crash Insane Trilogy, that game was incredible and looked incredible and played incredible so I'm hoping that Spyro is going to follow in that footsteps. I've already nailed it on the design part. We've got familiar cast coming back, the original Spyro's here so that's something to look forward to and judging by the music in the trailer it seems like they definitely have screwed that up so everything so far has been not promising but perfect. Beyond, beyond perfect is amazing really. They obviously staying true to the originals but bringing it to 2018 bringing it to the next generation consoles and it works perfectly the only thing I can say now is the kids that grew up with Skylanders and didn't play the original Spyro they're gonna wonder how did they screw up Spyro so badly well when you think about it that way it's kind of weird because there's gonna be people like that played Skylanders but not even seen the original Spyro games and they're, they're going to think that they've ruined Spyro, which is Skylanders. Because we've got it the other way around. The people that played the original Spyro, we knew that Skylanders come along and changed the whole sort of gameplay up altogether. And didn't ruin it, but definitely changed it and probably, in my opinion, made it worse. But for people that played Skylander first, they're going to 
probably or might even think that the new Spyro has completely changed the gameplay of Skylanders and ruined that for them. So it's going to be a pretty weird situation here. But when you think about it that way, <laughs> it can get a bit confusing. But overall, I'm so glad that I brought back Spyro. It looks amazing. Definitely, in my opinion, looks better than Crash. And I can't wait to see more gameplay and eventually play it. The next question is, Crash Insane Trilogy, are you going to get an update anytime soon? Are we going to get a playable demo? I beg that we will, but only time will tell. So, what do you think? What game do you think looks better? Do you think we get a demo? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.